The Tren Maya, or the Mayan train project, is a massive 1,554-kilometer railway initiative linking major cities and tourist hotspots across the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico. Spearheaded by Mexico's National Fund for the Promotion of Tourism, or FONATOR, this initiative aims to link key destinations, boost transportation, and fuel economic growth in the nation. This extensive railway plan unfolds in seven distinct sections, and the wheels of progress began turning in 2020. Beyond just connecting places, the Tren Maya project is a job-creating project, expecting to produce 4,500 direct jobs and an additional 7,500 indirect employment opportunities. The Tren Maya emerges not merely as a network of tracks, but as a symbol of progress, intertwining destinations, fostering connectivity, and sowing the seeds of economic vitality. But why is the Tren Maya project so controversial? And how significant is it to the Mexican people? Join us on this exploration as we go through the Tren Maya construction project. We will explore the project's goals, keeping you in the loop with infrastructure developments, examining the current status of construction, and addressing the hurdles and innovative solutions that come with it. And for more videos like this, subscribe to Ultimate Mega Builds. Let's start with an overview of the Tren Maya. The extensive 1,554km Tren Maya Railway is set to weave through 29 stations across five key southeast states – Chiapas, Tabasco, Campeche, Yucatan, and Quintana Roo. As a priority government project, the Mayan train aims to revolutionize passenger and freight transportation, unfolding in two strategic phases. In the first phase, encompassing sections 1 to 4, the railway will establish connections between stations from Palenque to Cancun, spanning an impressive 892 kilometers. Continuing seamlessly, the second phase will follow, covering the remaining three sections from Cancun to Escazaga, totaling 662 kilometers in length. Now let's explore the key contributors steering the technical front of the progress of the Tren Maya project. Who are the contractors involved? Construction is well underway, with consulting engineering group Typesa steering the technical front and providing project and construction management services for sections 1 to 5. Meanwhile, a powerhouse team consisting of Renfer, DB Engineering and Consulting, Inico, and Inico Max has been strategically chosen to oversee activities, adding an extra layer of expertise to the Tren Maya project. In a noteworthy development, Fonator handed over the construction reins of the $865 million construction contract to Spanish infrastructure company Acciona and Mexican conglomerate Grupo Mexico back in February 2021 for a 60.3 km stretch of electrified double rail tracks in Section 5 of the Mayan train line, running from Playa del Carmen to Tulum. Adding to the roster of contributors, global consulting and construction engineering firm EDGIS, in collaboration with local engineering outfits Triada and Transconsult, emerged victorious in securing the supervision contract for Section 4 in November 2020. It's a symphony of expertise coming together, orchestrating the smooth progress of the Tren Maya project. Now let's get into the construction details. On December 16, 2018, President López Obrador marked the initiation of the Mayan train project with a Mayan ritual. Construction kicked off in June 2020 with different companies handling each section. However, in September 2020, Fonator turned down an investment proposal from BlackRock for the fifth section, covering 125 kilometers, which also included improvements to the Tulum Cancun Highway. By June 2021, 10% of the project had been completed, progressing to 25% by February 2022, and a significant 67% by June 2023. Official operations began on December 15, 2023. 
Although operations briefly paused from December 28 to December 31, 2023 to prepare service extensions to Palenque, they swiftly resumed on January 1, 2024, connecting Cancun Airport to Palenque. The railway network continues to expand with the anticipation of Valladolid and Chichen Itza railway stations opening in January 2024, marking yet another milestone in this transformative project. President López Obrador is determined to see the project through by the end of his term in 2024. However, concerns about the rapid pace of construction have been voiced. A market survey conducted in 2019 by Fonator, PricewaterhouseCoopers and other consultants revealed skepticism from construction companies regarding the timeline, citing it as too fast and expressing fears of substandard work leading to potential disasters as seen in the May 2021 Mexico City Metro overpass collapse. And how will this ambitious project be funded? The financial responsibility of the Tren Maya project primarily rests on a tourism-focused tax in the region. Coupled with funds redirected from various programs, including contributions from the Mexican Grand Prix. Under the leadership of the National Fund for Tourism Development, the initial estimated cost of the project in December 2018 was $7.4 billion, with a goal to attract 8,000 daily riders. However, an alternative study in 2019, considering a 90% cost overrun on a previous rail project, anticipated a higher cost of $25.3 billion. President López Obrador revealed in December 2020 that the armed forces would operate three sections of the route, with profits geared towards supporting pensioners and veterans of the armed forces. However, in March 2021, Fonator's general director, Rogelio Jimenez Pons, clarified that the military would own the entire route, not just three sections, and would receive all profits. Looking ahead, Pons shared in September 2021 that locals can expect to pay around $3 for a single trip from Cancun to Playa del Carmen. Meanwhile, tourists might incur a fee between $46 and $58 for the same journey, which has led to some debate. So, what are some of the challenges this project is facing? The construction of new tracks through the forests for the Tren Maya project has also faced strong opposition from environmental and indigenous rights activists. On January 1, 2020, marking the 26th anniversary of its armed uprising, the Zapatista Army of National Liberation voiced its objection to the project, claiming that the consultation process provided only positive information to voters. Despite social and legal challenges, President López Obrador defended the project during a visit to Campeche, emphasizing strong local support and the economic benefits for the state. He also mentioned that the section from Escarcega to Cancun should be operational for tourist, passenger and freight traffic in 2023, clarifying that the route would not pass through the Calakmui Biosphere Reserve. Environmental concerns prompted the Regional Indigenous Council of Expujil to submit a petition in November 2020 signed by 268,000 people, requesting the suspension of the project. Despite these efforts, construction continued, drawing criticism from President López Obrador, who dismissed the opposition as a partisan attempt to block his administration's infrastructure initiatives. The opposition also found support from celebrities, including Eugenio Debez, Ruben Albaran, Natalia Laforcade, and Kate del Castillo, as part of the Salvame del Tren, or Save Me from the Train, campaign, expressing their concerns about the project. In a notable development in July 2022, residents of Chamax took direct action by barricading roads bringing construction to a standstill. Their protest centred around the government's alleged violation of agreements, specifically regarding the clearing of the forest and the failure to provide promised infrastructure. Construction has since continued, but the local resistance underscores ongoing tensions surrounding the Tren Maya project. So, there you have it. 
a deep dive on the Tren Maya construction project. What are your thoughts on this monumental undertaking? Share your opinions in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and want more updates on transformative projects like Tren Maya, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned for more fascinating content coming your way. Until our next exploration, take care and stay engaged.